Hey, what's up YouTube fam? Brandon Weaver here once again. Should you get your results online, on the mail? Can you send a validation letter to the collector before it's on your reports? Hey, what's going on? All right, what can we do here? All right, got some questions, got the answers for you. Also, make sure to jump on thesubscribetribe.com for the dates and times when I go live and you will be able to jump on the live streams with me and you'll be able to ask your questions on the live stream with me and get those questions answered on the live stream with me. All right, so let's get into it. Daryl asked, hey Brandon, I sent my first round of letters to the three major bureaus and I received an email from Equifax uh, saying that my recent investigation has been started. They included a link in the email where I can review the status of the dispute, but I did not click it. Is it common or some sort of, some sort of tactic? Actually, it's both. It's some sort of tactic and it's very common. I, I've gotten them before when I was doing my dispute process um, through the mail, and this is the thing, we're doing dispute process through mail, certified mail, all this great stuff, but then they try to get you to take your results online, they try to get you online, they try to do this online stuff. It is a tactic. This is not what I would recommend. I recommend that you get your disputes in the mail, physical mail, okay? and you avoid anything online. Now, if you really had to and you really did it for some reason, right, um, and you don't want them in the mail anymore, there is a letter that correspondence should only be done in the mail after having done something online. Um, we have a letter for that. That's right, we got letters for everything, okay? 609creditrepair.com, you can dispute these negative, nasty, erroneous, unverified accounts, or we can do the work for you at theawesomelifegroup.com, all right? This other question here, my husband received a letter from a third-party collection agency collecting on behalf of a credit card he had. It has not impacted his credit report yet, so not on the credit report yet. I just purchased 609 ebook letters, beyond committed package, all this good stuff, right? Can I send them the validation letter on there? What's up, Brandon? What do I do here, all right? Thank you in advance. Well, thank you, Karina, I appreciate it. So, this person has something, well, their husband, has something out there, lingering, lingering. Got something from a collection agency. Yes, you can send a validation letter now. That's absolutely all right, okay? Now, they're gonna still have to go through their validation process, all this good stuff, 30 days, all that, right? If they come back and say, hey, look, we are we can't uh, validate this, we're gonna close this out, we're, you know, we're not gonna collect anymore, we're not responsible for this anymore, that's great, maintain that letter. Because you never know if they try and play games later, try and put it on there, and you've got that, and you can send that to the bureaus. All right? So make sure, make sure you keep good records in the mail. That's right, so we wanna get everything in the mail, certified mail, all right? I see you, Jerome, don't be disputing online, Jerome. Sit your butt down. All right, good. If this video helped you out, please give a thumbs up, hit the subscribe, try button, and that bell for notifications, and until I see you in person, I will see you on the other side. Take care.